Hi and welcome to today's video. As you can see, this video is going to have a Disney theme. So first off, I am sick. I have coronavirus at the minute. I have put a lot of glowy blush on to make myself look more alive and awake. And I'm obviously stuck in the house, haven't got a whole lot, a lot to do that I can do. I can't go outside, obviously, can't make anybody else sick. And apologies for the background noise. My neighbours are building things. Um, I have been feeling sick. I've been sleeping a lot, resting a lot, but I had a little bit of energy today and wanted to do something easy. And I thought, why not film a little video and have a bit of fun with it. So if you saw my Instagram stories the other day when I got my positive test result, I was saying I would spend my isolation planning my trip to Disneyland. And I thought it'd be fun to do a video in that vein. So Disneyland Paris is turning 30 in a couple of weeks this year because it was opened in 1992. My sister Alice was born in 1992, so her 30th is the same year as Disneyland Paris's 30th. So we thought it would be a lovely family holiday for me, my mom and my sister to go away for my sister's birthday. And then when we realized that Disneyland Paris was the same age that she is, we thought it would be fun. Ooh, there's a cat on the... Um, on the fence outside of my back garden that I'm seeing. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, so we are going to go in May. Her birthday is actually in July, but it's just too hot in July for us. We are Irish and not great with intense heat. So we thought May would be lovely. A, maybe the parks won't be as insanely busy as they would be at the height of summer and B, the temperature will be more bearable for us. Um, so we're very excited. We're going in early May and really looking forward to it. So we've been planning and organising ourselves and one thing I wanted to do was make sure that we aren't tempted to buy things that we don't really love in the shops in the parks. I have been, We've been to Disneyland several times, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago and the shops are very tempting. Some of the things are beautiful but actually the last time I went to Disneyland, there was no Disney store in Ireland, but now there is. There's one on Grafton Street and I, you know, I can go there whenever I want. So it's much easier to kind of get proper official Disney merch, like actually made by Disney or made by whoever they commissioned to make it. And um, then it was when I would have gone to Disneyland Paris when I was younger, but also places like Penny's who made these ears or sell these ears um, have you know officially licensed Disney merch that's much more affordable so I have been gathering a few things for us and um, for the three of us me my mom and my sister to enjoy and wear and use on this holiday and in general afterwards and kind of save a bit of money that way and make sure we're not tempted to buy something just because we happen to be in Disneyland um, in May and you know get some A cheaper bits and B bits that suit us and what we like um, without kind of the being overwhelmed with the excitement of being in Disneyland. So I've got some merch for us. So this is almost entirely a Penny's or Primark haul and um, that's where I got a lot of this stuff but I have a few other bits and I'm just going to talk about the Disney merch I'm bringing to Disneyland um, obviously I might buy some things there but I'm hoping that bringing these things and having these things that I love and as you can see I have my it's a small world poster behind me that I've had for a long time my sister's partner gave it to me actually and it's from Disneyland Paris and um, I do like Disney merch you know aside from just the fact that we are going I like it anyway so some of this stuff I'm sure I'll use normally and some of it I had before anyway before organizing this trip. Some of it is a bit more particular. These ears, this might be the only time I use them other than the trip itself. So I'll get straight into it. So first off, obviously makeup is the main thing I've talked about on this channel so far and on my Instagram. And I do have some Disney makeup items and I am going to bring them with me. So I have these brushes, which are from Essence. The big one has um, Mulan on it and the smaller one has Jasmine on it. So it's an eye brush and a face brush. I'm gonna bring them. 
I use them anyway, so that's not a problem. But I want them maybe to take some photos with while I'm there. Um, and I'm also going to bring the two Disney eyeshadow palettes I have. So I've got the uh, design, Disney Designer Collection from Colourpop. So this is a palette themed after six princesses. So Tiana, Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Snow White and Cinderella. Yes, I got that right, even though I was looking at it in the camera and I don't have my glasses on. I'm very proud of myself. So one thing that's driving me insane is that Sleeping Beauty isn't one of these princesses because, of course, the castle in Disneyland Paris is Aurora's castle, Sleeping Beauty's castle. So I thought it would be lovely to get a photo of a Sleeping Beauty palette and Sleeping Beauty's castle together. But I don't have a Sleeping Beauty palette. And... Um, I kind of assumed that she was one of these princesses because she's kind of one of, you know, the OG princesses, but she's not. Um, but I love that, like, Tiana and stuff, some of the newer princesses are in this because I really, I love Princess and the Frog. Beautiful neutrals. And basically, I'm going to take this into the park with me and take a photo of it at the castle because I think that'd be fun. And similarly, I have this Essence palette with Rapunzel on it. And these are lovely kind of pink mauvey uh, shades and similarly I'm gonna take this into the park and take a photo of it at the castle I know that's ridiculous I know that's like way more eyeshadow than I would take on a four-day trip normally but I want to I actually haven't used these I do kind of try and take photos for my Instagram of palettes before I use them for the first time. I was planning to use this in January and I was going to take photos in January before the first time I used it and then I got sick and now I'm sick again. This is a year of illness for me so far but hopefully I won't be sick again and the trip to Disneyland would be fine. I'm hoping security to get into the parks won't have an issue with this. If they do, you know, that's fine and I'll just use the palettes while I'm there and maybe take, you know, nice flat lay photos that I normally take instead of the kind of in the parks photos that I'm thinking of and it's not a big deal. But I just thought it'd be fun and it would be a nice thing to do and just be a bit different. Similarly, uh, makeup wise, I also have these sponges. So these were €2.50 in pennies. So they might be £2 or £1.50 in Primark. So got the Mickey sponge and that's got like the flat face like a real technique sponge and then a mini sponge which really nice and it's more like the traditional beauty blender shape and I just thought that'd be fun <laughs> um, and you know 250 for two sponges isn't terrible value anyway they did have stitch ones as well I I don't hate stitch or anything but I'm not crazy about stitch but when I saw the mini one mini and mickey one I was like okay that's more classic that's that's what I'm big into so the only other obviously that was uh penny's primark but the makeup wasn't the only other non penny's primark thing that i have other than some badges i got in the actual disney store as a gift for my sister uh which i won't show in this video because i want them to be a surprise for her so the only other non uh pennies or primark thing i have is this lanyard so obviously people often wear lanyards and they have pins on them for pin trading and things like that i don't think i don't i don't really have many pins like if I have any I'd, I'm not sure where they are Um, I like pins other than the place I would want to wear them is a backpack and they fall off backpacks which really irritates me <laughs> so I bought this lanyard many years ago to use for like a work ID and then I moved job or I moved location of job and I didn't need to have a lanyard with work ID anymore and now my new job we're not allowed to use our own lanyards you have to use the lanyard they gave you, give you so I have never used this ever it is from the Kath Kidson Disney collection and it has Bambi on it if it would properly focus that would be awesome no my face ish focused ish not fully so anyway it's beautiful and you know it's that kind of more subtle it's funny it's not subtle at all because obviously it has like this busy pattern of lots of flowers and things like that but it's more subtle because you wouldn't necessarily know that this deer actually is bambi come on camera if i hide will it focus then i think it just doesn't want to focus because it's so small um, but anyway, I thought that was nice and definitely I want to have like my ticket or whatever on 
a lanyard and um, easy to get you know I could wear it or I can have it in my bag and just have it easy to find so I thought that would be nice and finally an excuse to use it because I haven't been able to use it so the next thing I have are kind of like little decorations or fun bits so I have this key ring that was four euro and it's just the Disney D in like Walt Disney's handwriting and I thought that was so cute and really really nice and four euro is kind of a bit much for just keyring in pennies you know some things are very very cheap there but I thought it was nice I think it's inevitable this will break off because my plan again is to have this uh, on a backpack I think that'll look cute um, and I am not planning on buying a Disney themed backpack and um, because a I have loads of backpacks that I really really love and b I don't want to buy something that then I would you know not necessarily want to use all the time now there are Disney things I do use all the time but I I really love my backpacks that I have so I think it'd be a bit wasteful if if they come out with a new line of backpacks uh, which they probably will between now and May and I find one that's amazing maybe I'll change my mind about that but for now I'm not buying a backpack um, before I found that Disney D I found these other key rings and these are only 150 and I thought they were very cute so I've got three so one for me my mom and my sister and we've got three different designs one has Disney one has Princess Castle and one has I think her name is Angel from like Stitch 2 or whatever <laughs> that film is called that's something I really want to do before the trip. Sorry about the background noise again. That's something I really want to do before the trip is watch more of the newer Disney, newer Stitch Street probably came out like 15 years ago, <laughs> newer Disney films that I haven't seen yet. So actually, <coughs> excuse me, I have been um, using my COVID isolation to watch a few things. So I watched Encanto and Zootropolis yesterday and I watched something else the other day. Why can't I remember what it is? Um, it was lovely, whatever it was, it was lovely. So these are really cute and they're just like a normal key ring hoop and then a little carabiner clip and the character or, you know, the little uh, decorative charm thing. And I thought that was cute and we could put them on our bags or again, you know, if we have our tickets for the park, uh, in a little pouch we can like clip this onto it and clip it inside our bag to keep it safe and make sure we don't lose it or things like that and I got the three different ones just so I give my sister a first choice I think she might pick Angel because I know she's a big Lilo and Stitch fan or, or the Dizzy or the Princess Castle whatever and then me and my mom can pick after that and just all of different ones so like if we have something like our tickets or something like that on them it's easy for us to identify who owns what and I thought that would be handy the big thing I really, really wanted and I've been searching for were these ears. So these ears are from Pennies again and I had seen them months ago and thought, oh, that's so clever to have them here, have them cheaper and you can buy them and just not be, you know, stressing about how much they're going to cost in the actual park or in, from the Disney store. I know lots of Etsy sellers make their own and have beautiful designs and I was tempted by that. These ears were four euro. I am so happy, so happy. So I love that they have this like quite classic design. Um, you have the bow, which is like fo full of foam. So it's not like really in danger of getting crushed too badly. Um, and it has these like fake pearl kind of things as the polka dots and the ears are stuffed and feel quite rigid and good. The hairband is stretchy. I have quite a big head. Um, and they're a bit tight on me. I have been kind of like holding them open over a cushion and I'm gonna do that definitely for a while longer before we go just to make them more comfortable. And like my mom and my sister, none of us have teeny tiny heads. I got to, my mom said she has no interest in wearing them. I was kind of thinking that me and my mom could have these like cheap classic ones and I could get some Etsy ones for my sister that were like a bit nicer or something or like we could get the 30th 
themed ones in the park but uh, my mom says she has no interest in wearing them so I think mostly it'll just be me and my sister wearing these and maybe you know my mom will try them on once for a photo or something like that. Now I am not planning on wearing these all day walking around in the parks because that will kill my head that will really hurt my head so a I have some alternative stuff and b I have ordered from Etsy from I think kingdom gifts magic something cute cute name I will put it up on the screen um, from Etsy these little uh, kind of lanyard things that are basically a shorter lanyard so like as if the lanyard were only that short and or like only this short and you have like a little clip or a little snapper or whatever and then you're able to attach it to your ears and attach it to your bag so that you don't have to put your ears inside your backpack People say they don't want to get the ears crushed, which is totally fair enough. I think these, because they're kind of stuffed and they feel decent, I think you'd have to scratch them pretty hard to like ruin the shape of them. But um, I also, I'm not, you know, I'm going to have stuff in my bag and I don't necessarily really have the room for something like this inside my bag. So I think it'd be really handy to at least have the option of hanging them on the outside of the bag. And also it means you can still see them, which I think would be really cute. So I ordered three, she does like individuals or a three pack of uh, different designs and I ordered three and one of them is actually Alice in Wonderland themed which is lovely because my sister's name is Alice so that'll be her one and I thought it'd just be handy to be able to take the ears off if they're hurting our head or if you know even if it starts raining we'll probably put them actually in our bag but if other than that if we're not going to have them on I think we'll probably just want to clip them to the outside of our bags to make it easier and not kind of taking up all the room inside our bags so that's exciting the alternative headwear I have is not so much for rain, but for extreme sun. Oh, actually, on these, because these are four euro in pennies, they are 30 euro, 30 euro from the Disney store. So obviously buying things, buying merchandise, you're not saving money. But like I could have spent, you know, 56 or 52 more euro on very similar things than I did. So I'm very happy with that purchase. My next headwear option is this hat and it is six euro. And I generally don't wear hats a lot, but I want the option of covering my face from the sun. And obviously we've got Mickey there. They've got a lovely range with this uh, design. They've got backpacks, they've got like handbags, um, jumpers, all kinds of stuff with this grey kind of like where you can see the illustrator how they got the ears so perfectly round um, design and I think that is lovely. It's kind of like obviously it is very Disney but it's like subtle or like neutral colours really nice. So these caps are six euro and I got three of them just you know, we are Irish, we somewhere in easily and for me, my mum and my sister to be able to protect our faces from the sun if we want and, you know, six euro for a cap in general is not a terrible price. You could get a cheaper one in pennies, you can get like three euro caps in pennies but uh, with the Disney design on it, I thought it was a good price and was a nice thing to have. So the main, that's kind of all the accessories. The main stuff I've bought is clothing and for me, you know, I was kind of thinking, oh, should I try like Disney bounding where people kind of color block and dress in colors strongly associated or use accessories strongly associated with particular Disney characters to kind of be like dressing up as your favorite character because adults aren't allowed to wear actual costumes in the Disneyland parks. Only children are. And of course, you know, the actual characters are walking around so they don't want confusion of adults who are dressed up as the character and um, being side by side with themselves kind of thing so you can you know dress up as in normal clothes that are not a costume like a character and I was kind of thinking that and then I was saying no that's a recipe to me like a wasting a bunch of money b you know just stressing and worrying about things and 
see a big thing would be dressing inappropriately for the weather you know if I have a particular ID and I really want to wear it and I've put loads of time and energy into it I'm probably going to wear it even if it's raining on the day and that outfit is a dress so also I just I don't want to wear a dress in the theme park I want to wear really comfortable clothes I want to be able to enjoy myself even though I'll be walking so much and I'll be out all day and I'll be tired I want to really enjoy myself and I think being comfortable is essential for that so I think the best bet for me personally is really comfortable runners, trousers. I actually have a pair on at the minute that I'll probably take. I'm going to bring, I think, one or two very lightweight pairs of trousers and one pair of jeans. May is not the height of summer, but I think it'll be pretty warm some of the days. So I think the lightweight trousers would be good for that. And lightweight trousers are thinner. And then jeans for if it's colder and, you know, traveling from and back to Ireland, it won't be super warm in Ireland I I would highly doubt if it'd be super warm so having jeans and also just to have something you know we're actually not planning on going into Paris or doing much other than Disney itself on this trip we've been to France several times as a family mostly like 20 years ago but still um we've been into Paris many times and had a wonderful time there and there are so many lovely things to do there it's not likely we'll do that on this trip, but if we do, I think it'd be nice for me to have jeans and, you know, um, a more, a, a, not a Disney top to wear doing that. But in Disneyland, I definitely want to be Disney themed. So I have bought myself four t-shirts from Primark Pennies. They were all six euro. Uh, I think they're all nice. The three of them that are not black are not as opaque as I want them to be. They're not totally see-through, but they're not as opaque as I want them to be. So I think I might bring like a tank top and if it's not really, really hot, I might layer the tank top under the t-shirts. We'll see how we go on that. Also, I might not care. Um, I am also going to bring shirts. I think I'll bring like this sh Tencel chambray shirt um, that I have from Marks and Spencer's to layer over for when it's like cool enough that I need long sleeves but not cool enough that I need a jumper I want to have that option and then that shirt can be my in case we go into Paris shirt so I'm not like packing a whole other thing and um, so I'm going to show you the t-shirts that I'm bringing what so this is a big pile this is more than four t-shirts so the first one is this black very simple Mickey Mouse design and I think this is lovely you've just got Mickey Mouse in a circle and then he's there smiling and really cute so this was six euro as they all were this is the size 2xl if you're plus size and you go to pennies or Primark you know they don't do all of their clothes in the same size range sorry heading into my uh, drawers in the same size range so some clothes go up to actual plus size sizes which I like that I think the 2xl in these in this range is a decent I'm like a 22 20 UK 22 24 size uh, so like big enough and um, well big enough for some people not big enough for everybody but like an actual plus size size loads of other clothes I can never find above an 18 and that's you know not gonna fit me <laughs> though I'm loving this whole like oversized style because that means sometimes you can find things so that t-shirt I thought was really nice I got a second one for my mom so we can have like a photo where we're all in similar things and then for my sister my sister is about one size bigger than me I got her this Mickey Mouse t-shirt which is a different shape so it's more like the kind of men's like boxier shape of t-shirt and it has this Mickey Mouse similar but with these little Mickeys um, on the front but it's only just small on the front unfortunately I kind of wish it was bigger but this is embroidered so this is better this was more expensive <coughs> excuse me um, so all of the other t-shirts were six euro and this one I think might have been 14 euro I had the label in front of me I might find it in a minute so anyway this is like a thicker material and it has the embroidered and it's a different shape and it has a design on the back so it has mickey mouse and then the big mickey 
full of little mickeys and the middle bit is printed but this bit is embroidered so it is higher quality this I think is more that kind of loose oversized style of it so despite the fact that it's the same size it's the 2xl it's a little bit bigger so my sister is a size bigger than me I think this will fit her great if not or if she doesn't like it I'll keep it that's fine but I like it I tried it on and I was like oh this feels slightly bigger than the other shape of t-shirt that they sell so I thought that'd be good to find for her because I have really struggled you know for my size my mom's like a couple sizes smaller than me my sister's a bit the size bigger than me so we're all plus size finding merch that would comfortably fit us um was a concern of mine and it's very confusing when like the Disney store website just has like XL and then no real comparison to UK sizes or whatever. So I have those three black t-shirts for the three of us and we might wear them all together and you know maybe we'll wear our ears and have a little photo together. I thought that'd be fun. And then I have three other because we're going to be in the parks for four days uh, Disney t-shirts for myself. All of them were six euro and all of them are from pennies. So the first one is this Winnie the Pooh design and it's again just like smaller kind of top breast pocket. Uh, location is this lovely pink colour and it I actually got this before we booked this trip I just thought this t-shirt was cute but I never wore it because I never took it in out of the car so I'm excited to wear that but it is like not as not see-through as I would like it to be but I'll deal with it if it's real warm I'll deal with it it's not 100% see-through and actually it's close to my skin colour so it's not it's not a big deal and then I have this very classic Paluto t-shirt so it's only small on the front and then bigger on the back so you've got Pluto and an actual picture of him and I thought that was really nice uh, and to have that yellow colour and everything I thought it was cute and it would look like very different than the other t-shirts in my photos and then lastly See, I told you I don't hate stitch. Um, <laughs> I have this stitch t-shirt and it's all big there. And up here it says, oh, Hannah is everything. Um, so the Pluto, maybe the Mickey and the stitch, all of this kind of nice kind of scoop necky. Um, and the edge has a bit of detail, or not detail, but like is ribbed. Um, and then the uh, Winnie the Pooh one is more of a normal, um, a simpler t-shirt um, trim at the top. So I thought that was all nice and I think it'd be pretty warm. So I think t-shirts would be fine. If it's a bit cooler, I'll layer my long sleeve shirt on top of them. Um, and I think that'll be fine. If it's actually cold, I am going to bring at least one jumper. Um, and I'm debating maybe bringing two. So I will show them to you. So, did I show you a big mess behind me? I don't think so. <laughs> it's all an illusion. Obviously, it doesn't look like super clean because uh, I put this pennies bag up to be part of a background. But actually, the pennies bag is disguising mess that is behind the pennies bag. Because usually, the way I have my camera, you can't see that much <laughs> the top of those drawers. So I've never cleaned the top of those drawers since I started making this video. These videos. Um all my secrets coming out. So I have two here. I have another um, Disney top that I love, which is a lion, excuse me, which is a Lion King jumper, but it just feels a bit thicker. So I think it'll be too warm for May. So the first one, which I'm not 100% sold on bringing is this jumper, which has thumper on it so it's a thumper jumper and again like the mickey on the gray it's like you can see the animators how they sketch out the shape of thumper's body and head before they draw him properly so i think that's lovely and it's just kind of a thinner jumper so i think it maybe won't be too hot for you know like in the evenings or whatever in may so I'll see, like if it's warm in Ireland already, and obviously I will look at the actual weather forecast for Mount Valley and the region of France that Disneyland is in, um, I'll, you know, make a judgment on that and based on how much fits in my suitcase as well, because that's the other thing. Um, 
but the one that I'm definitely bringing and that I bought specifically for the trip is this. So on the back it says Minnie Mouse and it's again this like circle design that the other things have. The front you've got Minnie Mouse and it's in embroidery this time and is like the top breast pocket and then on the other side you have this cute like um profile of Minnie and she's kind of turning a little bit so you can see her full bow I think that's super cute and her lashes and everything and um, so it's a hoodie it's really short I hate that it's so short but it will be you know not that cold so I think it's okay so oh the thumper jumper I think was probably 10 euro I'm not sure because I actually bought it like several months way before I uh, planned this trip or anything several months ago so I don't know how much it was but I think it was 10 euro because that's how much jumpers like that are in Primark now this hoodie is 16 euro so it's a bit more um and I feel like that bigger um Mickey Mouse t-shirt might have been 14 euro uh, so it's kind of like a bit all over the place I think if you have the embroidery it is a good bit more so this hoodie I think would be good because it you know obviously I can wear it open if it's like cool but not cold uh, and the fact that it's short does mean that it's not you know as warm on you um, and having an actual hood can be nice so it's like a zip up hoodie and I think that would be nice and obviously it goes with the well black goes with anything but it go it like almost identically matches the Mickey Mouse t-shirt so I think that would be nice I'm obviously going to bring like a coat and um runners and things like this which generally won't be Disney themed or anything like that um, but the majority of the things I'm bringing on this trip are because half of my clothes are Disney themed so it is a very Disney packing situation so I'm very excited with all the stuff that I have found pennies and Primark uh, you know if they are accessible to you you know you go in you find the stuff or you don't find the stuff um some of this stuff I got ages ago like the thumper jumper they don't have that anymore but some of the stuff I got quite recently these ears are not super recent I thought they had sold out they had sold out in the pennies near me I went looking for them I looked in another pennies for them didn't find them and then I looked in a third pennies which if you are in Dublin right now and if I get this video edited quickly um you could have a look in Blanchettstown in the big pennies in the Blanchettstown shopping center they had not millions of pairs left but they had like say 30 pairs left of these ears and they are only four euro which is 26 euro cheaper than the Disney store official ones and it's a bit cheaper than most of the ones on Etsy I could find either now the Etsy ones obviously you can get beautiful specifically themed ones you can get ones that say happy birthday on them you can get all kinds of things so that absolutely might be worth it to you but I was very happy to find because actually this kind of classic look is what I wanted I know a lot of people you know who are really big into Disney and who go to Disneyland a lot might you know with these t-shirts match a pair of Lilo and Stitch ears, a pair of Pluto ears, a pair of Mickey Mouse ears, a, a pair of Winnie the Pooh ears and that's fabulous and I'm not going to do it though because A, I don't have the money and B, I'm not planning to go to Disneyland super soon again after this trip so I thought, you know, a four euro investment in classic ears that if I do ever go again with any outfit these would these would go with any outfit and I can obviously wear them with all the outfits I'm bringing on this actual trip. I think it's inevitable that I will buy some you know actual Disneyland Paris merchandise in the parks themselves on this trip because the stuff is just so beautiful but I'm really hoping not to go overboard and I think I've gone sufficiently overboard in my planning and preparation um, to kind of stave that off. Oh, I can see now that the front of me is not as well lit as the back because the sun has set during this video. So I'm going to move my lamp. Oh, too bright, too bright, too bright. Uh, there we go. Move my lamp. <laughs> Super bright. Um, and completely change the lighting of this video. My apologies at the last minute. I only thought of that. Um, so I'm looking forward to bringing all my Disney stuff to Disneyland and maybe buying one or two things while I'm there but not going overboard. I have been watching a lot of like Disneyland vlogs and things like that and there is one thing I definitely will buy if I can find it which is a an earring or not earring a key ring of a little pair of ears so like the head it's a little headband so it 
has the like its little hairband um, but it's queuing and I just thought that was the cutest thing I've ever seen um, so if I see that I will buy that not that my keys need more keyrings on them they really don't but I think I would hang it from a backpack and have that just as like a little reminder that in Disneyland I hung big ears from a backpack uh, which I'm planning to do so I'm really looking forward to it. Apologies if you're not into Disney at all, if you don't live in Ireland or Europe or anywhere with a Primark near it. Uh, so this is all irrelevant to you and you're like, why are you talking about this shop that I can't find online and I can't seem to order online? Because you can't. They only do in-store sales and um, in-person sales. And they actually do have shops in the US now or like one or two shops in the US now. Um, so I might actually just write that below where they are because sometimes I've I've mentioned pennies, you know, if people in forums are like, oh, where do you get the best this? I'm like, oh, well, I always just get that in pennies. Um, and they're like, oh, no, that's not in the US. I'm like, oh, there, there are a couple in the US. Um, they're weird shops. <laughs> they're very big and intense and have, you know, a quick turnover of things so it can be a bit frustrating particularly say with a piece of Disney merch or something like that which maybe kind of blows up on Instagram of people saying oh they've got like a teapot shaped like Mrs Potts which was a big thing they had for a while and I was very tempted very tempted by that but the reality is I had two teapots I decluttered one of them and I'm down to one teapot and it's beautiful my sister painted it in like one of those uh, places where you pay to go and paint uh, for an hour and then they fire it in the kiln for you and all that stuff and it says it says my name on it it's really pretty and she made it specifically for me I'm not I don't need a Mrs. Potts teapot as well as much as it's cute and a lovely idea I really don't need that so I'm trying to kind of be more mature in my approach to merchandise and these things but I know that's the kind of thing that there were people who went specifically hunting for that in pennies and couldn't find it because they sold out quickly so that can be very frustrating and all of that but they have had this long-standing you know Primark by Disney um, collaboration with a huge range of things going out, co coming out so if you're like me and like I just kind of wanted four Disney t-shirts I wasn't that fixed on exactly which t-shirts I would get or which characters they'd be and um, I definitely do have favorite Disney characters and favorite Disney films but uh, I wasn't too worried about that and um, so I was happy to get them and picking the ones that came in my size or that were there on the day in my size was really the determining factor for me because they just don't have that many even the things that do come into XL they don't put out that many of them and so they can go quite quickly which is very frustrating and I wish they would improve on that I wish all shops would improve on that it is very annoying but uh, I'm very happy with what I've gotten I was very tempted by this beautiful white t-shirt that had like in rose gold the castle um, the Disneyland castle and like it's a princess vibes I don't know something like that on it and I thought it was beautiful and I was like oh I would really love that because I, I love the princesses but it was white and the blue pink and yellow t-shirts I have are already a little more see-through than I would like I knew the white one would be way too see-through and I'm expecting to be a little bit warm on this trip so not really wanting to have to wear a vest under every single one to be comfortable that it's not too see-through so I thought I would just leave that and not get the white one and only get coloured ones so I hope you're having an amazing day obviously if you're going to Disneyland or a big Disney fan let me know affordable merchandise that you've gotten below uh, in the comments that would be really interesting to hear or if you're planning to go to Disneyland anytime soon or have ever been and have advice for me and um, it's a very long time since I went it's like 15 years since I went so there's a bunch of new rides uh, the Walt Disney Studios Park had like just opened when we last went I think so they have a bunch of new rides they've got like all the Toy Story stuff is new since I went and um, Crusher's Coaster all these things so I've never done those the Ratatouille experience never done any of those so I'm really looking forward to some of those and then some things like I think it was called Space Mountain when I went and now I think it's on its fourth name or third name change and it's like 
Star Wars hyperspace mountain and all these kinds of things so I'm excited to see some of the stuff I saw before with you know has had a lick of paint and uh, been re-themed and things like that and I'm excited to see brand new things that I never saw before and just in general the ambiance experience of being you know on Main Street of seeing the castle and um, I really love that and I'm really looking forward to celebrating my sister. I turned 30 just before the pandemic and it was a busy time and we didn't have time to do a big family thing or for me to have a party or things like that when I turned 30 and we were kind of thinking oh later in the year at some stage we you know we might have a get together and then the pandemic started and you know my sister will now be turning 30 this summer so we thought it was a good excuse to get together and do something special and I'm really looking forward to family time you know we're not necessarily going to do every single ride four times and all this kind of jazz we're going to relax and enjoy ourselves and you know soak up the atmosphere and have a great time and I think it'll be super fun to take some photos with these things because you know with the pandemic we haven't got to get together as often as we would have liked in the last two years so I think it'd be nice to kind of cherish these memories and really hold on to them and I might make a couple of videos while I'm in Disneyland as well I've never done that before I've only sat down like this and filmed like this um, there's enough background noise here so maybe vlogging is similar to this um, I don't know but I think that would be loads of fun and I'm gonna see if I can you know film a few things while I'm out there but yeah it's a few months away uh, if you have any advice please leave it below but this is what's been on my mind and what I've been thinking about and I wanted to do something productive today even though I'm too sick, I'm too contagious to leave the house and too sick to do things that, you know, involve much standing up. So I thought sitting down in front of the camera like this, an excuse to use some of my Project Pan makeup that has definitely suffered because of being sick um, would be fun. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.